Now, the first question says, calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in the average volume of 0 0.100 moles per decimeter cubes hydrochloric acid. Before we go through this calculation, let us very quickly do a quick recap. I want you to remember that there are these three core formulae that we use with calculations involving the mole. Moles equals to the mass in grams divided by the relative molecular mass of a substance. When you are working with solutions, this is applicable when you are dealing with solutions. The number of moles in solution equals to the concentration of the solution multiplied by the volume of the solution. And when you are dealing with gaseous substances, this is for gases, the number of moles of a gas is equals to the volume of gas divided by the molar volume of gas at room temperature and pressure, which is 24 decimeter cubes, which uh, converts to 24,000 cubic centimeters. These three formulae are very important very very important make sure you learn them make sure you master them you can't survive uh, the calculations in the mole if you do not know these three formulae okay the question says calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in the average volume we are dealing with solutions here so the formula to apply is the formula that says moles equals to the concentration times the volume of the solution the concentration of this hydrochloric acid is given as 0 0.100. So the concentration is given as 0 0.100 moles per decimeter cubes multiplied by the volume of the hydrochloric acid. This is the average volume. Use these results to find the volume of hydrochloric acid, which we found as 25.2. So there, our volume here is 25.2, 25.2. Convert this to decimeter cubes and you will get 0 0.0252. I want to encourage you to learn the conversions from cubic centimeters to decimeter cubes. 0 0.0252 and by calculations the answer that you get here will be 0 0.0003 decimal three zeros after the decimal point this will be 5 and 2 now in examinations, after finding this answer, do not just leave it here. You have been given the space for you to give an answer. Otherwise, you would be considered to have omitted the answer or the question. So give your answer in the space provided. 0 0.0025 uh, moles of hydrochloric acid. The next question says, the equation for the reaction of, uh, between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is as given. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus water. The equation is balanced as 1, 1, 1, and 1. And the question says, use the equation in your answer from D. Deduce, work out, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 25 cubic centimeters of W. Use the stoichiometric ratio. You already know that the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that is reacting is 0 0.00252. And the equation tells us that one mole of hydrochloric acid reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide these are moles therefore 
0.002 will react with how much? There's a ratio of 1 is to 1. Therefore, automatically, we get an answer of 0 0.00252. This answer is obtained by cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. If you are having with problems with cross multiplications, please make sure that you meet up with your mathematics teacher and you ask them to help you in that regard. And then F says, using your answer from E, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 250 cubic centimeters of solution. This solution is 25 cubic centimeters. In it, it's 250 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the two solutions have got the same concentration. Okay, so if we know the concentration of the solution, then we can easily apply it here and find the number of moles in the 250 cubic centimeter solution. So let us quickly find the concentration here. We know concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume of the solution. The number of moles is 0 0.000252 divided by the volume of the solution. The volume of the solution is 25 cubic centimeters, which gives you 0 0.025. If you press the calculator, you'll get an answer of 0 0.0. 1008. This is moles per decimeter cubes. This is concentration moles per decimeter cube. This concentration is the concentration for the 25 cubic centimeter solution, which we said is the same as the concentration of the 250 cubic centimeter solution. We can now then find the number of moles in the 250 cubic centimeter solution by applying the formula moles equals to concentration, which is 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.01008 concentration multiplied by the volume 250 cubic centimeters in decimeter cubes that gives you 0 0.25 and the answer that we get from here is 0 0.00252 0 0.00252 in some instances other people may help you to calculate this number of moles by using the ratio to say that, okay, the 25 cubic centimeter of solution contains 0 0.000252, therefore, the 250 cubic centimeter of solution will contain how many moles and then you carry out the normal cross multiplication either way you will arrive at the same answer it doesn't matter which method you follow what is important here is your understanding when you understand what is happening that is the key thing because even when you follow this method Ultimately, it works out to this calculation. Or this calculation is derived from here, or this one is derived from here. Understanding is key. The next question says, Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 50 cubic centimeters of 1.00 moles per decimeter cube sodium hydroxide. We have already said in our recap that moles equals to the concentration of a solution multiplied by the volume of the solution. This is straightforward. The concentration you are given as 1.0 moles per decimeter cubes. The volume is given as 50 cubic centimeters. Convert that to decimeter cubes. 
and you will get 0 0.050 uh, decimeter cubes and the answer that you get here will be 0 0.050 moles once again do not just leave it here write this answer in the space that is provided 0 0.050 there with my pen I may not shake you today the next question says by subtracting your answer in F from the answer in G calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with the original sample this is straightforward you are told what to subtract from what so you're gonna subtract the answer uh, in F from the answer in G our answer in G is 0 0.05 moles and subtract the answer from F which is 0 0.00252 moles and this when you press the calculator will give you 0 0.0478 four seven eight transfer the answer to the space that is provided make a habit of that otherwise you will be given an omission sign to say that you did not attempt the question 0 0.0478 the next question says one mole of V reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. Deduce, find, calculate the number of moles of V in the sample. We are already told that one mole of V reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. Therefore, how many moles of V will react with 0 0.04? seven eight moles of sodium hydroxide carry out cross multiplication that multiplies like that 2x is equals to 1 times 0 0.0478 and if you perform arithmetic and press your calculator the answer that you get is 0 0.02 374 write the answer in the space provided it is not just the sufficient to work it out make sure you write your answer in the space that is provided 0 0.02374 moles and then finally use your answer from a and in I to calculate the relative molecular mass of the acid calculate the relative molecular mass we know the formula that uses the relative molecular mass says moles equals to mass in grams divided by the relative molecular mass our answer from a was the answer 1.46 grams this is where we were calculating the mass of the acid this is our answer from a where we were calculating the mass of the acid that is used okay all right let us move on just a sec okay so we are to find the relative molecular mass uh, we have here the number of moles the number of moles 0 0.0274 moles is equals to the mass in grams which is 1.46 divided by the relative molecular mass the relative molecular mass if you do arithmetic make the rmm the subject of the formula you will arrive at rmm is equals to the mass in grams 1.46 divided by the number of moles 0 
three seven four if you have problems with making variables the subject of the formula please make an appointment with your math teacher so that they can help you and make in learning how to make uh, various uh, variables the subject of the formula press the calculator and you will get 61.5 this is the relative molecular mass of the acid. The question says the relative molecular mass. It doesn't say the molar mass. Because it's a relative molecular mass, you leave it without units. Thank you very much for joining our lesson today. We will see you at our next lesson. But between our lessons, make sure you give yourself a lot of practice. These very questions that we have been discussing together go over them again and see if you'll get the same answer uh, as mine.